Hi, welcome along to Barbecue Life UK. My name is Tom. If you're new here, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you ring the bell to receive notifications. If you're not new here and you're still not subscribed, then please do subscribe. It means a lot to the channel. Today, we're going to be cooking barbecue sauce from scratch. So we're not talking ketchup. We're going right back to a tomato-based sauce. And we're going to be cooking that on a Weber Master Touch. So the base of this sauce is going to come from some smoked tomatoes. So we want a low heat, so I've just lit one end of a charcoal basket in the Weber Master Touch and do the same on the other uh, basket. Get a grill grate in, get the lid shut and we're going to get it up to a temperature of about 100 degrees C. Once you're there, get your smoking wood in. So I'm using oak today. We want quite a heavy smoke on these tomatoes to give it a nice rich flavour. So for the tomatoes, I've just got three tomatoes that I've cut in half. I'm going to put them in and smoke them for about 45 minutes, just until they've softened down. And you really want to over smoke these tomatoes and we're going to balance that flavour out with your other ingredients that we add later on. So it's been 45 minutes and the tomatoes have softened down nicely. So we're going to get these off and let them cool. Once they're cooling, you want to get on with your cast iron pot, get that in on an indirect heat to begin with, come up to temperature slowly. So we're going to peel our skins off the tomatoes now that they're cool, get them off and then we're going to get them into a blender and you want to blend them down so that they almost become a tomato juice. So our pot's come up to temperature, we're going to get it off and we're now going to set up for a direct cook. So we're going to move them charcoal baskets in and then we're going to get our cast iron pot directly on top so that we can boil this down to get on right consistency. So to begin with I'm going on with that tomato sauce that I've just made. So this is the smoked tomatoes and it's a really pungent uh, flavour. So we're going to balance that out by adding some passata, about 200 grams. Give that a good mix together. Then we're going in with Worcester sauce, so about a tablespoon of Worcester sauce in there. Next we're going to add some mustard powder, so we want half a teaspoon of mustard powder. After that I'm going in with barbecue rub, so this is Sweet Soul from the Rusty Barbecue Company, two teaspoons of that, but you can use any barbecue uh, rub you like. After that we're going in quarter of a cup of brown sugar, and then quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar. and then quarter of a cup of maple syrup. General rule of thumb when I make barbecue sauce is it's two parts sweetness to one part vinegar. And then we're just gonna season it with a little bit of salt. We're gonna give it a good mix, get the lid shut, and just let it boil away and start to reduce down. So this has had 15 minutes. So we're gonna give it a good stir. And uh, it's still quite a runny consistency. So we're gonna come back to it in about another 15 minutes time. You want to keep it moving just so that the sugars don't burn. So it's had another 15 minutes, half an hour in total. Come in and have another look. The consistency is a lot thicker now. So what you've got to remember with your consistency is that you don't take it to your, your end consistency on the barbecue because it is going to thicken up once you take it off. At this point you want to give it a taste, make sure that you don't want to add anything more to it. You might want some more heat, you might want more vinegar, you might want more sugar. Everybody's taste is different. So I'm going to take this off and this is the consistency that it's sitting at while it's warm. So it's still a little bit loose and then once it's cooled it's that bit thicker. So if you like what we're doing here at Barbecue Life UK, then please do subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video and leave us a comment underneath. And thank you very much for watching.